This introduction will go over the basics of the Occasionography Dealer Control Panel. We will walk through how to log into your control panel and the basic functionality outlined within the control panel. To locate your control panel, you'll go directly to your website. In this case, it's itspartytimewrap.com. You'll type in forward slash control which will redirect you to the dealer control panel login screen. Here you will enter your login information, which is the same as the dealer login for the corporate occasionography website. You'll enter either your email address or your dealer ID and your password. You'll want to make sure that you have read and agreed to the terms of use and click login. Once you do this, you will be redirected to the control panel main menu. Your screen will appear as my screen does here. Starting from the top, we'll go over the basics of the control panel. You'll always see that you're on your website here listed at the top, and you'll have the navigation back to the main menu and to log out of the control panel. You'll see we have outlined here and broken down into sections the different control that you have over the site. We do have a link at the very top if you need assistance for our support suite and ticketing system. Under site reports, you'll see that we have the orders tab. This is where is listed all orders that are placed on your site with the details of the order, as well as some control panel help instructions to the right of it. Under Site Management, we have the Appearance. This is where you'll select the theme for your site. Under Home Page Setup is where you'll set up all the text that's featured on your website, whether it's your Home Page text, your About Us, your Contact Us, your Meta Tags, if you want to add banners, everything will be found here in the Home Page Setup. Your Dealer Setup section will contain your name, your business name, your business email address, where you want things forwarded to, whether or not you charge tax. This is also where you'll select which options you want to appear on your site, whether you sell all the products or if you only want to sell selected products. You'll want to make sure that each time you make updates on any page that you click submit before you leave the page to save your changes. Once you're done, you can always click Main Menu, and this will redirect you back to the Main Menu screen. Once redirected back to the Main Menu screen, you can continue with your updates. Manage Pricing is where you'll set all the pricing for your site. Manage Variations is where you will set up and add variations, such as if you want to offer candy bar wrappers with Hershey bars or with Nestle Crunch or with Power Bars. Those would all be considered variations. Next, you can manage any testimonials that your customers leave on your site. And we have Manage Sliders. These will be the main images that appear on your site in the middle towards the right side. The menu selection will let you edit the menu that appears on the top bar of your website. Checkout options is where you'll select what payment options you um, collect on your site, whether it's a credit card or a check or PayPal, everything will be set up here. Under Manage Shipping Codes, this is where you'll set up your shipping options. Banners is where you can add banners to your site as well. And so is links, you would add links. Promotion codes is where you can set up any discounts you want to offer on your site, whether it's a percentage or whole dollar amount. Website logo, you can upload a logo to your site. And manage showcase images is where you can select the showcase images that are available on the site that appear on the bottom just under the slider and main image, but before the welcome text on your site. The last section on the site is the other products section. This these links will be used if you're adding non-occasionography products to your website. We have Manage Products. This is where you will add the products and manage product types. 
When you go into here, you want to make sure if you're adding additional products, there are four steps that you need to follow. You must follow all four steps for your additional products that are not occasionography to appear on your website. All of this information will be found in the five page occasionography website setup instructions that were included with your initial email letting you know that your website was completed. There will also be additional training videos that will go over each section within here so you can refer back to them as you need them. As always, if you have any questions, please use the need assistance for the support ticket system and we'll be happy to help you.